Good evening and welcome to the Job Search Solution, the radio program where we talk about looking for a job, changing jobs, changing careers, hiring. And as always, we begin with a prayer. Dear God, grant us thy peace and thy mercy. Thy will be done. And in just a few minutes, Rich Levinsky is going to be with us talking about consultants in the workplace as a real interesting topic this evening. Really interesting. So you want to stay tuned. Wanted to uh, discuss in this in this session um, a situation that came up that reminded me to remind everybody that no is the second best answer you can get in a job search, probably in any sales situation. No is the second best answer you can get. Yes, of course, makes you happy and elated, but that maybe is just going to kill you. And if you let it get to you, then you're making a big mistake. What brought this to mind was a candidate of mine uh, by the name of Chad, and I have been working with a company now for mm, probably five or six weeks. And for the past three weeks, they had been telling us that they were going to hire him. And I kept saying, Chad, don't go by what they say, go by their actions. And every day that they put off hiring you means more of a no. And we need to be looking at other situations. Well, I'm busy, my job. Um, one of the hiring authorities involved in this situation Went on vacation for a week, and so it got postponed. And in my profession, as in just about any other sales profession, time kills deals. And you have to assume no until you get an absolute yes, until you get an offer letter, until you get a start date. And I've even had, it's a different discussion, I've had situations over the years where People got all of those, showed up for their job, and found out the job was no longer there. It doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. So <clears throat> you can't count on anything. No is the second best answer you can get. So bottom line was Chad dragged this thing on for about three weeks, thinking that this organization was going to hire him because that's what they were telling him. Yesterday, he gets an email, and it says, uh, basically, we really want to hire you, Chad, but we've got an executive vice president who's changing jobs, and we'd like to hire the executive vice president before we hire anybody else. So if you could wait a couple of weeks, it would really be beneficial to you and beneficial to us, but we really don't feel like we can hire you until we get that position filled. The truth is that the job is two levels above, well, one level above Chad. And it really isn't going to have anything to do with Chad's job. It's for a position that's in the East Coast, from what we understand. But they just found another reason to postpone hiring Chad. I been telling Chad all along, we need to get other interviews. In fact, I even lined him up another interview and he really didn't want to go because he thought my client was going to hire him. Well, I hope my client was going to hire him too, but they weren't doing it. And as I say, their actions speak so loudly, we can't hear what they say. Whatever you do, don't stop interviewing. Assume everything is no until you get an absolute yes. The key and the idea is to have so many opportunities going for yourself that you don't have to rely on any one particular opportunity where they keep saying that we're going to hire you. We'd like to hire you. We think you're the best candidate. Whatever anybody says, you can't buy. 
too many things go on in the background that you don't know about, that you can't control, that are um, maybe have absolutely nothing to do with the um, with the uh, you're you're being hired. Companies change hands. Companies get sold. Companies merge with others. Um, all kinds of things can go on behind the scenes to postpone getting somebody hired. Now, poor Chad's in a situation where he's mad and he's angry. He feels like that they duped him. But they really didn't. They just did what they thought was best at the time. And they still say they want to hire him. But they're not doing it. So he can't afford to wait around. And he has to take that as a no. Now, he, he actually had the guts to call the hiring authority and say, in other words, you're telling me no right now. And the hiring authority basically said, well, yeah, we really are. We'd like to tell you yes in the near future, but we're really telling you no right now. Congratulations, Chad, you got an answer. Now you know. We've spent three and a half weeks w waiting for these guys because they were telling us that they were going to hire him. And it turns out that maybe they will and maybe they won't. But he has to accept it as a no. So don't get happy ears um, and think just because somebody says, we're going to hire you. We'd like to hire you. We think you'd be great and all of that until you get an offer and until you get a start date. That's when you know you've got a deal. Don't bank on anything and expect that everything is no up until then. You'll live a lot easier that way and it'll be a lot less emotional. All right, we're going to take a short break. Stay tuned. This is Tony Bashara with the Job Search Solutions. 